8 indoor plants that absorb humidity. We live in a moist area, therefore, it is essential to containing a dehumidifier working nearly 24-7. However, we can also acquire plants that reduce moisture in our homes. This is good as any time we can do a bit naturally, and it is a no-brainer. See some plants that reduce indoor humidity. Mustiness, wetness, and winter mildew in the home are created by excessive moisture, which can affect human health. Solutions such as dehumidifiers can be operative, however, plants can be a superior solution. Keeping an ideal level of humidity inside the house is significant for a healthy life. Start carrying these humidity-absorbing houseplants that can decrease moisture level and promise healthy life and comfort. 1. Peace Lily This plant will decrease humidity levels as it is a plant that, regardless of being irrigated, will also engross damp from the air by its leaves. This plant also requires minute sunlight to flourish, thus, indoor surroundings will verify no encounter of keeping Peace Lily healthy. This plant is the perfect pick to have in the home to help reduce humidity in the air, through the additional bonus of cleansing your air of specific pollutants altogether. It is vital to note that even though these plants are not the exact adherents of the lily family, however, they are still slightly toxic to individuals and animals once ingested. This plant is the most beautifully kept, not viable for kids and animals for safety. 2. Boston Fern Boston ferns are epiphytes that propagate safely on other plants or things. As they catch nutrients and humidity from the air surrounding them, they are indeed the types of plants that decrease the humidity inside the house. Mosses, several ferns, orchids, cacti, or silver vase plant come under the epiphytes. A Boston fern is one more prevalent indoor plant that flourishes in moister weathers, thus, it will absorb a little of the moisture in your air naturally. Boston ferns absorb humidity from the air, but they also balance out several moisture levels to create a more comfortable environment in your house. They require indirect sunlight as well as damp soil to stay alive in your home. Look out, if your air becomes dry slightly in the winter season, you might steam it to retain the plant from freezing. 3. Palms Palms come under the family of xerophytes that can live in deserts, snow, and in less liquid water. Xerophytes are recognized for their capability to live in tough situations, for example, cacti and succulents. Some palms, aloes, euphorbias, and yucca family plants are the best examples. These plants generally have waxy leaves and heavy stems, and they can get and save water from your air and decrease humidity. Palms raise in damp, tropical regions and will engross a bit of humidity from their leaves. Whether you pick for ladies' palm, bamboo palm, areca palm, and reed palm, all of these are great at serving to get rid of air contaminants inside, formaldehyde in particular. They are easy to take care of, as well. However, the most perfect if linked with other kinds is the reed palm because it can live in minor light and develop indoors. Only you have to keep the soil damp regularly. Furthermore, a reed palm will aid purify your enclosed air, similar to the peace lily. Areca palm is another plant that can absorb humidity from the air, therefore, making your air beneficial. In other words, the areca plant can naturally filter your air in the house. It means that you do not need to suffer the difficulties of spending a humidifier in the house. These plants can live under direct daylight. But, you have to look out not to keep them under the excessive sunlight, because excessive sunlight will burn their leaves. Additionally, you should not provide them more water since they live in a moderate atmosphere. 4. Orchids Epiphytes, for example, orchids, are those plants that flourish harmlessly on further plants and objects. They are categorically the kinds of plants that decrease the humidity inside because they acquire nutrients and damp from the air nearby them. 5. Spider plant Spider plants are prevalent as indoor plants because of their low preservation and impressive look. The elegantly curving leaves make these plants look stylish, however, it is further than what they can provide. What makes them prominent from other domestic plants is their ability to live in carelessness and low light. On top of that, they can eradicate about 90% of damaging air contaminants inside your house. 6. Tillandsia Tillandsia is a top indoor plant ahead of a bright window, getting a lot of clean sunlight, and watering should be finished at least 2-3 times a week. When you are under watering the plant, their leaves become gradually more bowl-shaped as compared to their natural structure. 
These plants can flourish without root structures and without loads of direct sun rays, which makes it relaxed for them to survive indoors. Furthermore, these plants can depend on the nutrients and damp from the air via absorbing them by using their leaves. Some plants will not solve complications with excessive moisture in your home, however, they can benefit from a stubborn problem. These plants are also appropriate substitutes for other interior plants you might have in your house. Most of the plants actually will discharge more humidity into the air. Therefore, if the extra indoor moisture level is a problem for you, altering the kind of plants you possess to some of these can also support. 7. Cactus Xerophytes such as cactus are those plants that can flourish in deserts and need less liquid water. Cactus are recognized for their ability to raise in harsh temperature regions. These plants are usually identified to have stout stems as well as hairy leaves. These plants are very beneficial for grasping and retaining water from your surrounding air and decreasing humidity. 8. English Ivy This plant can eliminate the airborne casts usually found in damp places. A benefit of this plant is that you can keep it in a hanging jar and place higher inside your room, adjacent to the ceiling, engrossing humidity that increases. Altogether, you do not need to worry about hitting it over. Maintenance for this plant is effortless from the time when it does not require much daylight. Simply retain the plant's soil damp, and even though it will develop gradually to start by, it should grow well.